So we need to learn how to convert numbers between different systems. So this one's going to be uh, showing you how to do binary numbers to so turn numbers that are in this form into decimal numbers like this, which you're all used to. So, uh, so if people use decimal and computers use binary, there needs to be an easy way to convert between the two, and there is. So let's take a binary number up here, 1101. Okay, so the first step you do is remember that the placeholders in the binary number system, they all start, every number system starts with one being the least significant bit. So the, the sort of the number or symbol closest to the right hand side is always worth one. Then after that, they go up by a value. So because it's a base two number system binary, it goes up by two. So one times two is two, two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is 16, et cetera, et cetera. I've stopped at 128 because often in computer science you work with 8-bit numbers, which means eight, there's eight ones or zeros next to each other. Okay, it's known as a byte of data, but that's by the by. So anyway, the first step is we would write our number in the correct placeholders. So 1101, we know that the, the one on the right is worth 1, the 0 is 2, that 1 is 4, and that 1 is 8. Okay. So then all we do is we work out and we add them up. So we go, that one's worth eight, then that one's worth four, so we'd add them together, and that one's worth one. So the decimal equivalent is eight plus four plus one, which is 13. So 1101 in binary is 13 in decimal. Okay, so let's have a go at doing one on the fly, just to show you how easy it is. So I'm just going to... Add some numbers. Uh, we're not won't go too crazy because I don't want to get the math wrong. So we'll calculate. Okay, so straight off the bat, one tip for you. So our binary number is zero one one zero one zero one zero. Um, because there's a zero here. Okay, I'll just rub that out actually. Because there's a zero there, I know that it's an even number because if it's an odd number, it always has a one at the end. But to work this out, it's 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 2. So 32 plus 8 is 40 plus 64. 40 plus 64 is 104. And then plus 2 is 106. So 0, 110, 1010 1010 in binary is 106 in decimal.